Hi, my name is Emily Turner. I'm an editor with Island Press, and I wanted to talk with you about three exciting books on our fall list. All three are about food and farming, but each comes from a very different perspective and addresses a different aspect of our food system. And while all three authors want to make food and farming more environmentally friendly, more sustainable, they out, lay out very different paths to get there. So the first book is called A Good Drink in Pursuit of Sustainable Spirits by Shanna Farrell. With all the attention to farm to table eating, slow food, sustainable food, there's actually been very little discussion of drinks, of alcohol. There's been some discussion of wine, some books on that subject, but almost nothing about spirits. And Shanna Farrell wanted to change that. She was putting herself through grad school as a bartender and she wondered why are none of these bars and restaurants paying attention to the quality of their drinks? After all, whether it's brandy, whiskey, mezcal, all these drinks are made from crops and those crops are often grown with pesticides that can leach into our waterways. The distilling process itself takes a ton of water and then bars generate mountains of trash from the garnishes that are used to just the glass bottles of beer. So Shanna wanted to go in search of answers and find people who were doing things differently, who were making spirits in a better, more sustainable way. She went all the way from Guadalajara, Mexico to London, and she met with farmers, distillers, and bartenders who are reducing waste, using fewer chemicals, and preserving traditional ways of distilling. This book is a really fun look at the coming good drink movement. The next book that I wanted to mention also profiles people who are making food more sustainable, but rather than traditional methods, they're using advanced technology. And environmentalists are understandably, generally a little skeptical of these high-tech methods with good reason, but Dick Munson shows how advanced technology can actually be used to create a more sustainable system with less pollution, less animal suffering, and healthier food for all of us. What's interesting about this book is that the people who are profiled are generally not traditional farmers. They're scientists, they're medical doctors, they're engineers, and they bring a whole different set of experiences, different knowledge, different training, to food and farming and have a different perspective on the issue. The final book that I wanted to talk about is very much from the perspective of a farmer. It's called Bet the Farm, The Dollars and Cents of Growing Food in America by Beth Hoffman. Uh, Beth was not always a farmer. She covered food and ag for decades as a reporter and did a lot of reporting on sustainable farming. So she thought she knew what was involved in this, but when she was in her late 40s, she and her husband decided to uproot their comfortable life in San Francisco and move to Iowa to her husband's family farm and try it for themselves. And she quickly discovered that reporting on farming and doing practicing farming are two very different things. Uh, what was most difficult wasn't the physical labor of farming, it was making it all work financially, and she is certainly not alone. Farmers across this country are really struggling to even make a profit at all. A lot are going out of business or on the verge of going out of business. And Bet the Farm addresses this hard financial reality because, as Beth says, farmers can't make a difference if they can't provide for themselves. How can they introduce sustainable methods of farming if they can't sustain themselves financially? Ultimately, this book is hopeful. Um, it's a tough economic climate and tough economic message, but Beth truly believes there are ways to produce food more sustainably, both for us as eaters, consumers, and for the farmers themselves. And that's what this book is finally about. So we have three different authors, three very different perspectives. And that's why I think my job is so great because I get to learn from 
authors who are some of the best teachers in the world about food and ag. I get to learn about how to create a healthier food system, and I hope you all want to learn about that too. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.